Hi guys, it's Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. <laughs> so, um, yeah. We have three left, but we actually only have two left. Because, sorry, Cappies, I've been told not to do a Capricorn reading. Because I've got stalkers who, um, are trying to figure out what's going on in my life. So, thanks to them, there will not be a Capricorn reading. But I have been told, if you know your um, Venus sign, that Capricorns can... People that watch my channel, if you are a Capricorn sign, if you know your Venus sign, go back to that reading. That will resonate with you. So, that's how we're going to do it. And this one is for Scorpio. Overall energy for Scorpio. Vacation and give it time. Let's go to the cards. Mercury retrograde, so you're having communication issues with someone. Let me see if I can do it. Open your heart, let go, and cycles. So someone is being called to open their heart to let more love in. It'll help you attract more love. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending for something else to begin, and let go. Make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now. And pregnancy, someone is expecting. So Scorpio, you could be pregnant. Oh shit. You thought it was gonna save your marriage, but it actually just intensified the divorce. And someone's going on vacation to manifest a new life. So that keep a nigga baby, that backfired. And you're big mad about it, Scorpio. Austin, Texas can be significant. Someone's very empathic. Someone's name is Brandon. BJ. John 316. So God wants you to know that he gave his only begotten son for not just the world, but he gave him for you too. God does love whoever I'm speaking to. Sunday. So something can be happening today. Something about New York City. Someone's name is Robert. Daniel 1010. Somebody wanted to have control over you. They wanted to uh, you to be submissive to them. And uh, everything they did backfired. Can you ever forgive me? Washington, November. Someone's name is Gail. Someone's name is Kim. Go deeper, Scorpio. So the problem that you're facing, Scorpio, you need to go and take a deeper look because um, you're just cracking the surface of whatever the actual problem is. Someone needs to de detoxify. Could be from a Taurus. <laughs> Get that, detoxify that Taurus out of your system. Or someone needs to let go of their addictions and and detoxify their body. 
Someone needs to fast. Relax, cancer. Let your fears dissolve, cancer. Take inspired action, Virgo. And know you are loved, Libra. So, Scorpio, you can be dealing with a Taurus, a Cancer, a Virgo, or a Libra. Somebody celebrated too soon, and now they're realizing they took the wrong course of action, and everything is backfiring on them. Possibly getting pregnant with Keep a Nigga Baby. Someone is dealing with a Leo or a Cancer, since Cancer is out here three times, I'm going to say Cancer. This is your soulmate. Possibly your twin, if you resonate as a twin. Someone has talked a lot of shit about you behind your back, Scorpio, or you've done this to someone. Um, you made up a lot of lies, created a lot of gossip, um, and it could very well be this cancer. Either this cancer's done it to you or you did it to this cancer. And someone's now walking away from a past life soulmate. And as much as it hurts, this one, this woman's pain, it's brought her to her knees. And she feels like the pain is bigger than her. And she doesn't know if she'll ever get over it. There's a Taurus or Aries that's in the reverse. This woman, Scorpio, this woman could be you. Um, you could have picked a Taurus or an Aries over a Leo or a Cancer. And um, just to find out that this Taurus or Aries was a no good crackhead junkie and um, that this Leo or this Aries was, uh, Leo or this Cancer was the love of your life. And now, and a past life soulmate. And now that you want to go into calmer waters with them. They're letting you know that. You made your choice and you got to stick with it. See, look. This person, this woman, she should be having the time of her life. She's on a giraffe. She's riding a giraffe, but she realizes that the giraffe has taken her to the edge of the cliff. And the choice she made in life between these two men was the wrong choice. And whoever she chose was a dead end situation. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to grow. She's just stuck on their back. The monkey on the camel's back. Or I guess giraffe, but. See, they, they put, they had a good game. They told this woman what she wanted to hear. They made it sound good. They made it seem like they had the light. They were the light. And that light shone. The only thing that that light did was show this woman that she picked a dead end path. Everything else was fake. That light illuminated false falsities. She's realizing that she picked a false a false king, and that <coughs> this Taurus, because this is a Taurus card as well. Was not the abundant one. The king of pentacles was in reverse. And so was this king of uh, the six of earth. So. This Taurus. Or possibly Aries. But now I have two Taurus cards here. And they're both in the reverse. So I'm going to go with Taurus. Um, and then the D detoxify Taurus card came up earlier. Um, but Scorpio. You picked a Taurus who. Was. 
unloyal, unworthy, was in poverty. He just, he had the gift of gab and um, he was able to sell you oceanfront property in Arizona. He sold ice to an Eskimo. And um, you're realizing he has no he has no abundance. He uh, he has no soul. He's a joy snatcher. He's a body snatcher. Energy vampire. Everything he had, he he stole it from someone else. Whether that be finances, energy, um, faith. He literally everything he had when you first met him was stolen was stolen essence from someone else and it could very well have been your king of your king of fire your leo or your um your cancer this king of pentacles could have been in all in all honesty they could have been fucking this king of wands and um they ciphered this king of wands essence their aura their abundance uh, through energy, energy transfer, I don't care what nobody says. Energy transfer is real. And when they depleted this King of Wands and made this King of Wands look like they were a no good piece of shit, that's when you came into the picture and you ugh, hook, line, and sinker, a up, gobbled up everything that this um, Taurus had to tell you, had to sell you, and now you are Queen of Water in the reverse. You are crying all the time. Your emotions are out of whack. You could be pregnant, obviously. Um, or you could be on your menstrual cycle. Or feeling like you're on it because you know now that you made the wrong choice. And you're all caught up in your emotions. You're, you're, you're hating yourself and everyone around you. Um, you're in lack. You, um... You're lost, and you don't know how to uh, get away from this King of Pentacles in the reverse, because you are now a Queen of Water in reverse. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, again, <laughs> confirmation, oh, and there's your King of Water. Um, there's someone around you, though, that truly does love you, and they truly want to help you heal, but you're ignoring them, because you're, you're so broken hearted. But I'm telling you, this King of Water, possibly even the King of King of uh, Fire, they're they're keeping this King of Pentacles in the reverse. They're keeping them at bay. This King of Pentacles in the reverse is afraid of this King of Water and this King of uh, Fire because they know that they they've seen right through them. They know their uh, their tricks. And these two men have said, "You stay away from this Queen of Water. Um, she is going to heal. She is going to." Step into her life purpose. She is going to become the person she's meant to be. And there's nothing you can do about it. No matter how many lies you tell. How many secrets you keep. How many illusions you cast. She will go into hermit mode. She will heal. She will get the spiritual knowledge she needs. She She's worked hard all of her life. To get no recognition. And now it's her time to shine. And there's we're not going to let you steal it from her. So you've got two men that really care about you and they're keeping this, this asshole queen, king of pentacles, this Taurus or possibly Aries away from you because they know their intentions. They know they, they had cruel intentions towards you and they want to keep you broken and keep you, um, heart, heartbroken and, uh, unhealed so that they can continue to manifest off of your, your, uh, innate abilities. Your natural ability to manifest, your natural ability to love and care and nurture. Like you did mine. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Someone needs to watch that movie. And that Kelly Clarkson song is really awesome too. But 
I'm really getting, somebody needs to watch The Eternal um, Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet. Someone's name could be Jim or someone's name could be Kate. Yeah, someone's going through a tower moment because they know they can no longer play the games, the emotional game manipulation that they've been doing their whole life. And someone's wife could have turned against them. This Taurus could have been married to a Capricorn or Sagittarius. And um, this woman's finally saw through the fucking uh, bullshit as well. And she's out, she's outing her own husband. Or she's turned against him. So there is a twin flame here. And they're finally coming out about a conflict. Oh wow, 5-5. Five, five. Someone is going out of conflict, and someone's going into conflict. There's Taurus again. That's Leo. So there could be a Leo coming about a conflict, about who and what they want. And there is a Taurus that's going into conflict because of the emotional bullshit and manipulation and mind games that they played. So Taurus, you might have... Or Scorpio, you might have fell for a Taurus and fell for a Taurus's trap. But... It's because your real emperor, a Leo, um, couldn't make up his mind what he wanted. And now he has. And he's telling this Taurus to stay the fuck away from you. And he better not do shit else to hurt you. Because you are, you're his. See, the King of Wands is a very compassionate, very charismatic, very sexual, very attractive man. He's a leader. But... Especially if you're talking about a Leo. Leos take forever to make up their mind. But once they do, there's nothing's going to change it. And um, this Leo's finally decided that you are his... You're his world. You're his will of fortune. You are his counterpart. You very well could be an earth sign. Um, Capricorn. Virgo. Taurus. Gemini or Libra or Scorpio. Someone could be an October Scorpio. But whoever you are, this Leo is keeping um, this Taurus away from you. Because he knows what this Taurus has done and what this Taurus intends to do. And um, he won't let that Taurus hurt you anymore. He loves you too much, and you've been through too much, and he knows it. The Hanging Man. There's the Pisces involved, too. October 12th, February 2nd, January 1st, January 2nd, January 12th, December 10th. All those dates are significant. Ace of Water, New Beginning in Love. Scorpio, you're about to get a New Beginning in Love. A fiery, passionate message is coming through from this Leo or from your Emperor. Um, and it's going to be a message that's going to take you way off guard. Definitely could be a Leo. Life Path 9, something to do with September of last year. Someone could have been a prostitute, or someone could have been an escort, or someone likes to pay for sex. Or maybe someone, maybe this Taurus told this Leo that um, you were a prostitute, and that, that caused that Leo to want to stay away from you. M. Someone's first middle or last name could start with an M. Stay off grinder, so it's gonna be the same sex situation, or it could just be stay off online dating because someone is using online dating to try triangulate your location and figure out where you are so that they could send their goons after you. So be really careful. Someone's name begins with an N. 
Someone's a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. F, I really need to talk to you. It's about my health. If I come to you and offer you what you deserve, my family will sell me and I can't decide if I can handle losing them. But I know you're worth it. Five. So May 9th of 2022 could be significant. Nate, Mitchell, Fran, Fernando, Malcolm, Nora, Naomi, Maxwell, someone's a Maxwell fan, someone likes to have sex to Maxwell music, V, so there's five again, or someone's name is Veronica, Valerie, Vanessa, Victor, Someone's addicted to Valiums. Someone drives a Dodge. Black, gray, blue, or red. The St. Build-A-Bitch. Someone tried to take what they learned from you and turn someone else into you. And they learned real quick, this ain't Build-A-Bitch. No one will ever be you. Could be someone who drives a BMW that did this, someone who is a Life Path 11, or someone who's born May 11th. So that could be that Taurus that we've been talking about, Scorpio. I still remember every detail that day. It kills me when my pride got in the way. I would do anything to take back the things I did to you. You really are a queen. I can't wait to see your name in shining lights. So somebody does regret the things that they did to you. This Taurus could possibly really regret what they did to you, but they're still in the reverse. They're still petty, vindictive, and um, they care about themselves first and foremost. Someone's name could be with an R, an L, first, middle, or last, an S. Someone's a life path one. Someone's name is Kia, or they drive a Kia. I, C, circles. Someone's going in circles. They want to keep you locked up in a cycle, and they want to keep you going around in circles with them. Someone pretends to like girls, but they're really gay. That could be that Taurus. Scorpio, they could have used you as a um, front woman, and they were sleeping with men the entire time. Someone's in a lot of conflict because of broke people shit. People are arguing because they're broke. They're, they can't have what they want. Someone's a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. There's a Pisces Cancer Scorpio that won't shut the fuck up! Someone's devastated because you're about to find out that they were into some really bad shit to make money. Broke people shit. D... Someone's name began with a D, first one or last. P, J. Someone loves your body, but they crave your soul. You're the one that got away. And someone is a sex addict. Someone considers the pro of dating them is because they had a big dick, but the con of dating them is because they fuck everyone. They fuck everybody. If they're left alone with somebody, man or woman, they'll, they'll have sex if they think they can get away with it. Could be that Taurus. Someone's into double penetration. So somebody is definitely into men and they're trying to hide the fact that they're into men. And you could have very well been someone's, someone's, uh, front girl. They really didn't care about you at all. They just wanted people to think they weren't gay. So they, they were dating you. Scorpio. Someone's in their PJs.
Someone's a stripper. IRS, someone's done something illegal with tax, on their taxes. Someone's a junior. Someone's a cis man. Pisces. Someone's in a crisis. Someone's name is Chris. Someone's name is Liz. Clarissa. Jen. Someone's name is Jen. Lynn. Someone's really into men. Someone, I'm telling you, Scorpio, whoever it was that broke your heart, it's because they're fucking gay. They're just in the closet and they can't handle. They're not ready to come out. They're not ready for people to know who they really are. Someone's a doctor. Someone could be Dr. Chris. Someone could be a female doctor. Dr. Miss. <laughs> Someone's name is Simon, Simon Peter. Someone could be re researching the Bible, Jesus Christ. Someone could be 15 years old or someone could be 51 years old. Someone really wanted control and wanted you to be submissive to them, but they can't even control their own life. That's why they're fucking up so much. Muncie Police Department, Manhattan Police Department, someone's a cop, May 1st, 2011 is significant, January 5th, 2011 is significant, September 9th, 2011. Someone's 33 years old. C.S. Lewis. Someone likes C.S. Lewis novels. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe trilogy or um, series. R.L. Stein. Nine eleven. Someone needs to call nine one one. Jr. Again, someone's a junior. M.D. Someone's a doctor. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. Love you. Have a great day, Scorpio.